You're gonna stand down. You're gonna use that book to help us set reality right. Well, I certainly wouldn't have placed it in Deacon's hands if that were my intent. Enough! You will not do to this earth what you did to mine. I admire your persistence, Barry. He says you were testing us. And thus far, I am unimpressed. A crisis is imminent. Someone is coming. Someone far, far more powerful than myself. I mean to prepare. By giving a nut bar an all-powerful reality rewriting book? I am testing universes to find one. I hope strong enough to stand against him. You're causing chaos, and you're blaming everyone else. In the hope of finding the champions that would save the multiverse in time, you are the first of those I've placed under fire who have managed to retrieve the Book of Destiny. For all the good it did you. Enough of this, Kara. Yeah, I'd love to. You show potential. Let us see if it's anything more. What is he talking about, Barry? Gentlemen. It's time we talked about your destiny. I must confess, my interest is piqued. You possess neither power nor abilities, yet still manage to outwit an opponent with the powers of a superman. It's just one word, superman. What is this? Hmm? If you're testing us, then let us get back to it. Oliver Queen. A man who channels his hubris and anger and calls it strength. Are you truly that eager to die? No, not eager, but willing. Ready to. Good. Might be hope for this universe yet. If that's supposed to be a pep talk, I've had better. Self-sacrifice alone will not see you through this trial. Survival will only be found by knowing your true self. For this world will be doomed. Like all the others. Okay, that's enough. So much passion. And hubris. To think. And if you just yell loud enough, you can command a god. You're not a god. Yet there isn't a name for what I am, so I suppose God will have to do. Your time is limited. I'm not sure what little remains is best spent making demands of me. I already told you what you had to do. I know what happens to Barry and Kara. Mm. Now you're here in the faint hope I can alter it. Well, you just said you were a god. Now, I don't think you're testing us to see if we're strong enough. I think you're testing us to see if we are good enough. And I don't think in any of the universes you've tested that anyone has ever stood and confronted you like this. Yes. You are the first in a multitude. I'm not who you need. You said I'd pass the test if I knew my true self. My true self is filled with darkness. But Barry and Kara are different. They inspire hope. They inspire people because they are the best of us. And if this test of yours is gonna kill our best chance at stopping this crisis, well, as gods go, you're not a very smart one. The universe is a complex piece of machinery, and balance must be maintained. One change requires another. How would you propose I keep the balance? Will you help me save Barry and Kara or not? No, but I will give you the means to save them. Tell me what you need in exchange. Whatever the multiverse requires to survive the crisis that is looming. When it is time. Now, I thought I had more time. It's okay. It's 
So what bargain have I made? What does the multiverse require? You assist me as we seek to prevent the inevitable. That, that sounds impossible. The multiverse is more complex than you could fathom. What are you not telling me? I've seen your future, Oliver. Inexorable and unavoidable. I have watched you die. During this crisis. I am truly sorry. No. You are not taking him. Oliver. I'm not here to bring harm to you or your daughter. Trust me, the world needs her. You think that I'm just gonna let you leave here with my husband's life? This is bigger than us. Than all of us. Why does it always have to be you? I cannot prevent his passing. But he can prevent the death of countless more, including you and your daughter. But he needs to come with me tonight. Never ceases to impress humanity's capacity for invention. Hmm. Infinite number of worlds and not a single one where man fails to emerge from caves and hold dominion over the earth. What are you doing here? Reminding you what you are doing here, which does not include interfering in the events of this earth. I have no intention of interfering. Are you not here to confront Malcolm Merlin with your suspicion that he is the Dark Archer? Well, I went to Applied Sciences last night to retrieve the Dwarf Star Particles, just like you asked me to. You make it sound like a trifle. Those specific particles can only be found on this earth out of a multitude. My point is that when I arrived, Malcolm had already stolen them. You know what might help if I actually knew why I was after them? That I have tasked you should be reason enough. Or have you come to doubt your commitment to this mission? No, I have not. I warned you not to interfere. They didn't bring us here? No, but I discovered what had transpired on Earth too. That you intervened to save Laurel Lance, I redirected you. What the hell happened back there? A herald of what is to come? An entire world erased from existence? Where's my mother? Where's... Where's Tommy? Where's... Where's... R Renee, where's Dinah? There are no more. Did you hurt John and Laurel? They are alive and nearby. And now you know that if we fail to stop the coming crisis, what you witnessed will occur on infinite Earths across the expanse of time. How did I fail? Your dwarf star particles are right there. You disobeyed my instructions to avoid entanglements on a parallel Earth. You confronted Tommy Merlin. You altered the fate of Laurel Lance. I watched her die once. Okay, I wasn't prepared to do it again. You were not a man accustomed to following orders. But the survival of the multiverse requires that you obey mine. Where are we? Your home Earth, where you will complete your next task. There's a man named Dr. Robert Wong. Bring him to me. Why? Now that is not your concern. Do not fail me again. In this crisis, I'm supposed to die. No. No. We need to talk now. Who are you talking to? Hey, right now! We are past the time for discussion, Oliver. You and I had an agreement. I die. Barry and Kara live. Yes, to keep the cosmic balance. So why are you telling Barry that he's gonna die? I spared your friends' lives so they could save their world last year. This is a very different threat. You need to stop playing games with me. You tell me why the Anti-Monitor is doing this. And then tell me how I'm gonna prevent it. Not knowing what you are fighting means you will prepare for every possibility. Because this threat brings with it the annihilation of all life in all realities. Do you now comprehend the scope of the danger we all now face? Oliver, it is time. Has the 
your plan been evacuated yet? Not entirely. It is not time! Oliver. He fought to his last breath, knowing every moment was another life saved. Saved? Your universe is no more. Of 7.53 billion, three billion souls made it to Earth-1 on the Armada of Ships. I calculate one billion souls survived due to his noble sacrifice. It was not supposed to be like this. This is not his ending I foresaw.